I got a joke that uh, a friend of mine told me that vegan food is good because when you eat them, you realize how delicious meat is. Okay. <laughs> Price for you to buy all the veggies is, is so high. The real protein, like your chicken, fish, pork, meat, we substitute. We find ingredients that are high in protein. So protein can meet cashew nuts, cashew nuts, coconut, coconut yeah. um, you, you know, soybean, soya beans, yeah. um, vegan milks. So protein doesn't necessarily mean meat-based product. Voila, tôi là Huy Tạ và đây là Ala, một series podcast về ẩm thực. Nếu mà chúng ta sẽ à không, đó là mùa một rồi. Còn ở mùa 2 chúng ta sẽ có dịp tìm hiểu xem sự đa dạng văn hóa của ẩm thực các nước Ngoài ra khi xem show này, ngoài vì các bạn được đã tai đã mắt Các bạn còn được học những tips, những mẹo nhỏ do chính cái đầu bếp hướng dẫn Mà chúng ta có thể ngay lập tức áp dụng tại căn bếp của mình Xin mời Sitting here with me today is Mr. Asif He is an executive chef here at Veganista And he also been living in Vietnam for 15 years He trying to build new brands and new experience to the Vietnamese eaters Yeah, thanks, Hui. Uh, so yeah, as we said, 15 years in Vietnam, created multiple brands, but Veganist is quite unique. Uh, it was a group of us, a group of team with our partners, uh, CP Vietnam and myself. We built something unique, flavorful, a lifestyle destination, and also the most important thing, a new way of eating unique vegan food. Uh, so we are super excited with our brand. Please come and try if you haven't been here yet. Let's go. All right, Asif. Uh, me, I, I love veggies. I love listening to my mom. My mom always say, you gotta eat your green. Mm -hmm. So I try to follow that as much as possible. But I'm having a problem at home is that every time I buy, uh, let's say, a, a, a lettuce, back home. Okay. I don't know how to store it. I don't sure. know how to keep it fresh. This is my way to do it. Every time I go out, I buy this, let's say a lettuce, they give this to me in the market. Okay. I put it in the fridge and every time I want to eat it, I take one out and then I wash it and then I eat it. Uh, but then again, it's not fresh. It's, okay. not, it's still not crunchy and maybe it's not green anymore. Sure. So show me what is the best way for me and for the audience at home, how do you store and keep the fresh sure. lettuce? Sure, okay. All right, we, firstly, it's very important to select something that looks fresh mm -hmm. and crispy, okay? Yeah. As you can see, the color is very good here. Yeah. So the way we do, uh, the best way to have salads is only wash when you need, okay? okay? okay. But also, to make it convenient, you can also wash it all and also store. So yes. there are different types, yeah? yeah. So this has been in the chiller. It's very important to keep all fresh vegetables in a chiller right, between so two to, to five degrees. Like a container like yeah. this. In a container is okay. Not, not washed, yeah? Not washed. Yeah. So very simple. You get uh, filtered water, clean water, mm. yeah? So we are just gonna break off the leaves, right. okay? And, and always start from the outside and then go in the inside, inside right. yeah? Here we rinse it, we wash yeah. it. We're gonna wash it, rinse it. Right. Okay. And then once you get there, usually I just make it like that. <laughs> easier. So yeah. Much easier. And then we're going to put it through the water. Okay. Right. Generally, you should wash it at least two or three times in Cook. clean water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every house should have a salad spinner. Ah. Okay. The, the salad spinner, what it does is when you wash the salad, you put it in here, it takes out the water. Right. So, so, so to have this. a, yeah. Right, and then we put, after we're done washing Correct. it, we just put it in. So then we're going to put in the lettuce in here, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. What's very important when you wash salad, you should not have water left over. Because if you have too much water in the salad, the water will spoil very fast, yeah? Right. So this is the spinner, and then you just turn it around right. to remove as much water. As you can see, the all the water is coming out, yeah? Right. Okay. And then you just check. Okay, it's pretty dry. I'll do it a little bit more. Right. Just to make sure it's all finished. Right. Okay. Okay, that, that, that for me is pretty good, yeah? Okay. Okay, so, so to store after you've washed the lettuce, the best way is to get some paper towel, paper towel put it in here. Okay. 
Okay. Put it on the bottom of the container box like this. Correct. Just a layer of paper towel. Yes. Yeah. So if there's any extra water, the towel will take the water. Ah, yeah? I see. I okay. See. So then we get all the salad. Okay. And we just put it in here. Yeah. Put it all inside. Right. And then the best way to protect the lettuce is just to add another, layer. another layer of tissue. Right. And this will keep it crisp and fresh. Once you're done, put it, put it in the box and keep it in the chiller. In the chiller. So you, you can eat salad anytime. Right. This will be good for about two to three days. Two to three nice days. Nice and crispy. Right. I, I see you have a box already there that you've sure. been keeping. This is what restaurant. we've washed yesterday just to show you the quality. Ah. See the tissue gets a bit wet from the lettuce. I see. And then it's still nice. It's still green. Still, still, still crispy. Yeah, and that's important. You see the color, and that was done yesterday. This is good. I love it. Awesome. Now you know how to keep your vegetables green and fresh every time you need it. Thank you, Mr. Asif here. Uh, even though I know today we're gonna have some delicious uh, dishes from your restaurant, but I want you to taste uh, the vegetarian dishes that we Vietnamese we can commonly get okay. out in the street. Sure. This is what we usually get. Uh, you know, just uh, a platter, rice with full of veggies, and I want you to have a taste and tell me what you think. Okay. This is what we have usually. There we go. Sure. It's rice. It's with everything. What do you think? Sure, I think <clears throat> this is common for me. Mm -hmm. I've been in Vietnam for 15 years and yeah. it's easily available. Um, you know, familiar flavors, localized. Yeah, it's good. Can eat every day. But this is a problem that I have mm. every time I want to eat some vegetarian dish. Is that no the, these things are, most of the time I want to find something vegan sure. or, you know, make the vegetable. It's not coming from the veggies itself. But it's made out of this, how do you say, say Satan? Uh, yeah, this one is um, actually tofu skin. Tofu yeah, skin, this one, yeah. yeah. But most of the time, you know, in my, my food, I can find it just plain flour. Sure, sure. So sure. today, I want to try some dishes from your restaurant that is plant-based. Please tell me, what are we going to eat today? Sure. So as you can see, veganista is pretty unique. Mm. Uh, we, we look at colors, textures. Uh, we look at using the best ingredients that we can find in Vietnam and create something that you cannot make at home. I'm very confusing with what I'm seeing right now. Is that this? What is this? Is sure. that cheese? Uh, th that's correct. So, you know, over the last, I've been in Vietnam for 15 years yeah. and I see cheese is growing. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference between real cheese and vegan, but... Okay. How do I eat it? I just put it in my mouth? You know, taste it alone, naturally, which is very unique. It's got cashew cheese, some coconut, and then what you should do now mm. is taste it with a bit of salt, chili, crispy garlic, and some coriander sauce. We have made Asian-inspired flavors in the bowl. Okay, now how do I do this? I just scoop everything so, in a spoon? What, what I would do, here, let me help you. Yes. I would get a little bit of chili. Ah. Okay, right, get that. Okay, now, take that with a, one piece of garlic, a little bit of sauce, and here, a little bit of tomato. Right. Try that. So it's all familiar food, except a vegan way. Mmm. Unique. Unique. Yes. Explosion. Yes, yes, correct, correct, yeah. I want to ask you a question. So, before coming here, I'm a little bit confused about the term. Vegan and plant-based. Sure. What's the difference? A actually, vegan and plant-based, they're pretty similar. Mm. Uh, plant-based means, and vegan means, non-animal products. Non-animal products. Okay? Mm. So that's very clear. There are a lot of vegetarian restaurants in Vietnam. Uh, which often use egg and um, animal products, but yeah. we chose uh, vegan items, which is purely plant-based, 
as the, the movement of plant-based food requirements are growing globally. Mm. So we decided to be part of this new global trend, mm -hmm. uh, which, which now Veganista is becoming a lifestyle destination right. for many customers. Now tell me a little bit more, why do you think that the, uh, the plant-based movement, like you have said, is, is growing, but do you think that it is still new here in Vietnam and especially, you know, uh, Ho Chi Minh City? The opportunity to enjoy once a week or twice a week vegan food, it's good for you. You know, so one day you can have chicken, mm. another day you can have fish, one day you can have vegan items. So it gives you a nice balanced part of your lifestyle. Right. Yeah. But you mentioned one very interesting point that I want you to explain to the audience as sure. well. is the difference between uh, olive oil and the other uh, common oil that we can find. Let's say canola oil. Sure. So, so olive oil is a premium product. Mm. Basically, you have green olives yes. and, and mm. black olives, different kinds of olives, and that is naturally pressed cold until the natural oils come out of the olive. Mm. So olive oil is a very 100% pure style of oils, yeah. where other oils are processed through other ingredients. So, you know, the Mediterranean diet, the Italians, the Greeks, they've been eating it for thousands of years yes. and it's good for the heart. It hasn't proven that it's good for your health. It has, yes. yeah. And now those Western benefits are now coming into Asia. So, the, you know, I've lived in Vietnam long enough. Even in supermarkets, you can see Vietnamese buying olive oil. Right. And they, they, they are getting used to, they know it's good for you. Right, right. Slightly more expensive, but better for you. Right, right. Yeah. Any dishes here that you use uh, olive oil? I think this pasta dish you sure. use olive oil? Absolutely. Okay, what is this? Tell me a so, little bit so more. So this is the inspiration. Obviously, you can see Veganista is a colorful brand. Mm. So it's beetroot, which is very healthy for your blood system. Ah. So we made a beetroot sauce with a fresh pasta. Uh, one of our most successful dishes on the menu. And you know, today, Hui, people eat with their eyes. So when it comes, they're fairly excited to try. And you know me, I would not make this at home. So I will come to Veganista to because it's special. Yeah. Yes. Problem with me that you said like I sometimes I eat with my eyes and the dish is just too beautiful that I sometimes I don't want to touch it because I'm afraid sure. I will ruin it. But this tastes amazing. I'm gonna tell you, this tastes amazing. It even though you said it made out of uh, beet juice, but it this is just it's al dente. You sure. know the 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 pasta itself is like al dente, it's like not too, not too spongy, okay. it, it's just perfect. What do you think about what we're currently doing, you know, the vegan dishes and compare to whatever you're doing here? You know, like what do you think about the way that Vietnamese, we tend to enjoy the vegan food here? Sure. We forever create new items, new seasonal products. Mm. Um, we are not your typical standard vegan plant-based menu we are always thinking, oh, what is unique? Uh, market trends, like this dish for instance, traditionally from Thailand, okay? Made from minced pork, but we did it with minced vegan items, you know? Mm. Uh, I see so, some tofu yeah. here, is that it? Yeah, yeah, correct, minced tofu, lemongrass, but I can tell you, when you taste it, you could think you're, you're almost in Thailand or Vietnam, very familiar flavors. Mm. Um, and, and what's important for, for a dish like this, after you eat it, it doesn't feel like you're just having vegetables. It feels ah. like you're getting a good balance of vegetable and proteins. Okay. Yeah. How do I enjoy the dish? So, as so you know to what? My, the, the best way is just give this a bit of a mix. Mm -hmm. First, taste it alone. Mm -hmm. And then after you taste the first mouthful, get a bit of lettuce, herbs, and make a wrap. Wrap, make so a wrap. try that first. Wow. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you've been to Thailand, Laos, Cambodia. Similar dishes you can find. Now, let's try it your way of how to make a wrap out of this. Now we're gonna put a little bit of everything, the herbs, uh, the cucumber, and some fillings in it. Let's go. Put a little bit more. Here. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> okay. I'm not the best wrapper myself, so stay with me. You know, just bear with me, bear with me. There we go, ah. You're right. Mm. Ooh. 
the crunchiness, the freshness, and also the fragrance of this feelings that it brings. It's just like a perfect blend. Sure. Very appetizing. Do you have any difficulties when you're trying to sell uh, plant-based dishes to the Vietnamese eaters? Sure. I think what we've learned is um, we must localize the flavors to our domestic market. Uh, you know, Vietnamese consumers, they always want fresh and healthy. So we need to continually develop, provide them this, and make sure it's not too sweet, not too salty, because a lot more people are more health conscious today. Hard question for you. Why do you think that people should eat plant-based diet? Sure. I think plant-based is important, as I shared earlier, it's something you don't need to eat every day, but if you choose to, why not? It's still good for you. Um, but again, we want to give our Vietnamese consumers mm. variety mm. in the week, so they have options of different kinds of food to select. But it's hard for like a new, like a new, a little newcomer like me. I want to try a plant-based dish. Do you think it's hard, you know, from switching savory meat dishes sure. to switch to any plant-based? Uh, I can share an interesting story. I've got a lot of friends who like steaks. Yes, okay? steaks. They, you know, and then on the way here, they always say, wow, I, I'm not a big fan of vegan food. But after they try, they're shocked. Okay. They, they didn't realize how complete veganistic creations are for them. And then they keep coming back now ah. because they feel it's good feeling and they still leave feeling good, yeah. not too heavy. I got a joke that uh, a friend of mine told me that vegan food is good because when you eat them, you realize how delicious meat is. Okay. <laughs> but I think after I'm trying all these dishes today, I'm amazed and I, and I think you're right. I might, starting from now, I might try to eat vegan dishes one or twice per week because like you said, it's, first of all, it's good for your health. Second of all, it tastes delicious. So why, why not? Sure. Right? Yeah, absolutely. But there's a controversial um, debate that people is having. When you eat vegan food versus when you eat meat, they say that vegan food does not give you enough energy. You know, okay. it, it just, when you eat like a piece of steak and then when you eat a piece of tofu, it, it just doesn't, you know, goes up together. So what do you think about that? Sure. I think times have changed. Mm. Uh, it's a matter of educating the people. Mm. So we personally, you know, the real protein, like your chicken, fish, pork, meats, we substitute. We find ingredients that are high in protein. So protein can meet cashew nuts, cashew nuts. coconut, coconut yeah. um, you, you know, soybean, soya beans, yeah. Um, vegan milks so protein doesn't necessarily mean meat-based product but a lot of things that holding um, people back from trying to eat like a healthier diet mm. is because the price for you to buy all the veggies is, is so high okay. sometimes it's even higher than, than buying meat do you think it's a problem when you go you know when, when a person you know when they try a new diet like you know a vegan diet i think you need to be very cautious in what ingredients you select everything can be affordable it all depends on your balance of your recipes mm -hmm. and that's what we have done i think the perception of vegan food it's expensive mm. but in fact you need to be very careful. When we create dishes, we want to find the good balance in the choice of ingredients to make it available for everyone. I think, let's talk about the mozzarella, okay? These are good fats, you know? Good You've fat. got a natural fruit. Mm. Coconut is a superfood today in yes. the world. Yes. It's growing. Coconut cream, coconut water. Yeah. Cashew nuts, high in protein. Garlic is healthy, great antioxidants coriander used in vietnamese food but we've done our pesto so again each dish we have carefully selected to make sure there's good ingredients and a great balance for every consumer right. so it's not only tastes good but it's full of nutrients as well correct right one so. of the other factors that i've seen you've been doing with veganista dishes is that you make them look pretty you make them look so beautiful and may i ask you why why did you decide to make all your dishes look so pretty like this? Um, you know, th this, this concept was 
pretty unique when we were creating. So when, the, when we all started to discuss as a team about vegan food, we asked ourselves, what's going to win the hearts of customers? So the first thing we said, the vision. Yeah. So we went around the markets, we went around uh, looking at local ingredients, and we selected beautiful, fresh ingredients that look good, mm. look colorful. Right. I think you're right on this one because amongst all the, the teenagers and the young people of Vietnam, before we eat any dishes, what we do is that we take a picture of it and we post it on Facebook or Instagram. Yes. So I think you, you nail your, your target audience right there. That's that right. you know they, they, they need to eat with their eyes first before they taste it with the tongue. Yeah. I think that's very correct. So we wanted to bring that familiar um, idea uh. that you eat on the streets, but bring it into a vegan version. Right. So this is a top seller and it's amazing. Um, that you know when locals see this they're familiar even foreigners love this dish yeah so quite exciting right. and soup obviously soups are important mm. so this is inspired by laksa laksa, you know, laksa is a southeast asian um, soup but again we did it with a vegan style so obviously this this soup you can eat this any time of the day. Mm. Uh, Vietnamese love their noodles and broth. So you can see we have beautiful, great protein flavors, nice roasted pumpkin, beautiful broccolini grown in Dalat. Right. So it's still very good and healthy and most important, full of flavors. Right. Yeah. This has got my heart, but this is a challenge for you. Gum tam. Ah, you know I'm Vietnamese, so you cannot mess with my gum tam if you do it wrong, okay? Okay. Now I'm gonna try your gum tam. Please. And I'll be the church of it. Yeah. See if and, this and, is good or not. And Hui, do me a favor. Eat it the way you would eat gum tam on the street. Okay. Exactly the same way. Where we eat gum tam is there. Put drizzle the sauce on the rice. Then get a little bit of the meat out. Oh, what is the meat? What is this, this? Yeah, this, this is this. our soya bean. So we use all natural soya beans, spices, again, coconut oil. We're gonna try the rice. Yeah. Mmm. I gotta say, I love you. We love you too, we. <laughs> I, I love you. And, and you, you can look at this, traditionally made out of eggs, but we do our wood, woody at mushrooms, noodles, mm -hmm. vegetables. You can try this, also very unique. As if I've already said that I love you, but when you bring these dessert out, I love you even more. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, As if I think this is a very nice meal for me, you know, it got food and everything. And what especially after uh, I've done eating this meal is that I don't feel heavy. I had a very light and delicious meal. Fantastic. So thank you, Asif, for thank sure. You. I will try, like you said, I will try for now one or two meal per week eating awesome. vegan or plant-based. Thank Fantastic. you. Thank you. Thanks, sweet. Thank you.